public school districts across the country are facing budget deficits as COVID relief funds dry up. And without that additional funding, school boards from coast to coast are handing pink slips to teachers and staff. California's Teachers Association President David Goldberg told the Orange County Register that about 1,600 California teachers and school staff received layoff notices in the last couple of weeks, a massive increase from previous years. In Fort Worth, Texas, 133 employees received notices as Fort Worth Independent School District faces a $44 million shortfall next year. Fort Worth ISD also slashed 200 jobs for the 2022-2023 school year after experiencing an $80 million deficit. In Howard County, Maryland, the school district announced 348 jobs will likely need to be cut as the district faces a budget shortfall of $103 million. Now, there are a couple of common themes causing school boards to implement these layoffs. First, school districts will no longer receive federal COVID funds, and some had been running at 40% over pre-COVID budgets. And second, public schools have reported a drop in student enrollment, which impacts school funding formulas. Between 2019 and 2021, student enrollment for Fort Worth ISD dropped 10%, according to the Wall Street Journal. And during the pandemic, some parents pulled their children from public schools to either homeschool them or to enroll them in private or charter schools. If more students enrolled in public schools, the schools could then draw additional state funding. School finance experts warned in early 2023 that some school districts would feel the effects of a fiscal cliff as COVID relief funds ran out.